Hi everybody, today we're making tortellini with butternut squash served with a butter and sage sauce. For the pasta dough, we need 300 grams of strong white flour, 100 grams of semolina flour, 3 whole eggs and 3 egg yolks, and for the filling we need 800 grams of butternut squash, one red onion, one quarter cup, a cup, one quarter cup of olive oil, half a teaspoon of dried chili flakes, 150 grams of freshly grated parmesan cheese, and 150 grams of mascarpone, freshly ground salt and pepper to taste, and half a teaspoon of fresh thyme. Let's get started! First we're going to make the pasta dough. So I've measured out all the ingredients and now I'm going to put the flour, the semolina and a bit of the egg yolk into the mixer with the dough hook. Looks like it's starting to form and now I'm going to finish it off by hand. My mummy said that it's important not to over mix it or else it might get too tough. Try and get all the loose bits of flour in and make it into a ball. Remove the dough hook and the bowl so it will be easier to mix. Looks like it's a bit dry so I'm going to add, add one more egg. Now that it's all in one piece, we can start rolling it. So I'm going to put some semolina on the table so that it won't stick. So to roll the dough, use the palm of your hand and push it out and then fold it over. And kind of roll it around. This is quite hard work. So carry on kneading until it's nice and smooth. kneading it should look like this then wrap it in cling film for half an hour or one hour in room temperature okay so now the dough has finished proving I'm going to start rolling so first I've got to get my surface ready so that that it won't stick I'm 
going to use a bit more semolina again. First I've got to take first I've got to take off the kim, the clim film. Okay. So first I've got to make it a bit more flat flatter because you can't just stick it on top of there. Okay, so I've got now I'm going to roll it through the pasta machine. Before I roll it into the pasta machine, I need to cut it into four slices. Or else it, it will be a super long piece of pasta. Okay, so now I'm going to roll it through the pasta machine. For the pasta, we're going to roll it through the pasta machine and then fold it in threes, three times, and, and then we're going to move it up a level. Okay. It's a bit harder to do now when it's the pasta in it. Is it, does it flatten it? Yep. Yeah. It's making it longer. Yeah. Okay. And then fold it like this, and then like this. And then sprinkle some semolina on top again, and then roll it again. And then fold it again for the last time. And roll it. And then now that you've done it three times, you can move it up level to level two. Okay, here it goes. Keep rolling. Why does it change when it goes to different levels? Because it makes it thinner. Oh. It looks like it is getting a bit longer. Um, Again. Oh, out again. And level three. Well, that's going to be really thin. And then level <coughs> four. Oh, that's thin. Bit thin. Long sheet of pasta for your tortellinis.